Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the 15th video as part of our series of videos on power of reporting of Tally Prime. In this video, we will explore the cash and bank book and we shall learn the various techniques that we can apply for the report of cash and bank so that you can have better analysis of your cash transaction and bank transaction. So let us go to Tally and explore the techniques related to cash and bank book. To access cash and bank book, there are two ways of accessing. First, let me show you the menu path. From the gateway of Tally, click on display more report and select accounts book and we have cash and bank book here. Click on cash and bank, we get cash and bank book. Here, the easier way to access is from the gateway of Tally, click on go to and just type cash and bank and select the cash and bank book. We will directly come to the cash and bank book report. Now this report by default, we see the closing balance. Let us say you want to see the opening balance summary on the right hand side button. Click on change view under the related report. We have cash bank opening summary select cash bank opening summary and this is going to give us the opening balance of cash and bank book now again to view the closing balance summary so again click on change view and click on cash bank closing bank summary first let us explore the cash book so come down and select cash book and it is going to give you monthly summary if you notice here for the month of august you have closing balance as credit if you want to just filter any month which has got closing balance in negative so that you can quickly verify and then do the necessary corrections to filter out only negative balance click on basis of value and you have this option show negative balance only just click on this ensure that it is made to yes and you can just press escape and you will see that tally is now filtered and it is giving you the list of only those months where the closing cash balance is negative you can press enter and then get into the transactions now here if you want to see the daily balance you can see the daily balance by again clicking on change view and from the related report you have this option called daily breakup so select daily breakup and now we have this daily breakup so that you know on a daily basis what is the cash closing balance so in the month of august on 31st there is this credit balance but whereas if you see for the entire month the balance is positive balance so you have to now come down to 31st august investigate the transaction and then see how you can quickly correct this negative balance the other option is if you see the closing balance for the month of august is showing negative balance but what if there are negative balance in between the month for the entire given period so how to quickly view if there are negative balances in between the month but whereas the closing balance for that month is in positive balance so all we have to do is just click on any particular month and then press f2 blank it out so that we will see all the transactions for the entire year. Now click on change view and let us select daily breakup. So the daily breakup, we have this. And now when you come down to basis of value, you have this option called show negative balances only. Just click here and then press escape. Now we will observe that there are negative balance within the month but whereas the closing balance for that month is positive for example if you notice here in the month of april in between there is a negative balance but whereas the closing balance was of april was not showing any negative balance we saw only august month having the negative balance at the end of the month similarly on july 1st again there is 18 rupees credit balance on 31st august 2973 this is the closing balance that we saw earlier then in between the month again 30th of october there is 33 rupees credit balance so this way 
quickly you can filter out for negative cash balance during the financial year another option that we have is that let us say you want to quickly review your cash book for any given particular month let us filter this report for 6 months april to september so i'm going to press alt f2 a for april and s yes for september and automatically tally will take 1st of april and 30th of september now these are the transactions for the first 6 months now if you want to view only debit transaction or credit transaction you can do so through this option on the right hand side which is basis of value click on basis of value and type of voucher entries by default it will always be all vouchers click here and now you can select whether you want to view only debit entries or credit entries so let us select credit entries and then just press escape or you can press control a so now you will observe that tally is filtered the cash book with only the credit transaction so that quickly you can view this transaction again you can filter for debit entries only by clicking on basis of value come down here enter and select debit entries only and now we will filter this out and view only the debit entries only the next one let us say we want to view the bank transactions the same way you select hdfc bank press enter and you will see again monthly transaction let us go inside the month of march and these are the transactions that are there let us explore couple of options on the right hand side button bar change view and we also saw the daily breakup the next one is moment analysis what is moment analysis in case in the company if you have purchased or sold any goods through direct bank payment then you can view quickly the moment analysis of purchases and sale so let us select moment analysis and when i press enter you will now see that company is bought two numbers of bajaj microwave directly by making payment through hdfc bank so this way you can view the moment analysis of purchases and sales related to direct payment of bank or cash now if you want to filter out and view only the post dated transactions click on exception report and select post dated vouchers only click here tally will filter out and give you the list of all the transactions which are marked as post dated transaction the other report which will give you the list of your post dated checks received and post dated checks that you have issued a quick summary can be viewed through change view and under related report you have post dated summary click on post dated summary and for the month of march for hdfc bank you have one post dated check that is received and the amount is 276120 now you can select this enter it is going to give you the detail of the post dated transaction we can view the columnar report of the bank transactions for any given period so we have selected the month of march if you notice here on the right side button bar we have this button called columnar click on columnar and you can decide what other options that you want to enable so let us leave this as it is and i'm going to press control a and now you will have the columnar report for hdfc bank for the month of march so it is going to give you total column and different ledgers in the columnar for you to quickly analyze the various accounts being involved in the bank payment for the month of march you can quickly change this to voucher mode just by clicking on change view and select vouchers click here and it will now give you the list of vouchers for the month of march so this way basically exploring these buttons on the right hand side button bar will allow you to quickly analyze your cash and bank details effectively i hope the techniques that we learnt i am sure that will help you in managing your cash better especially to make sure that there are no negative cash in between and also we saw the other techniques which gives you a better control over your cash management and your bank transactions so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much